Hello friends. So this problem is about calculation of average power in circular motion. So problem says a particle of mass m moves in a circle of radius r with a normal acceleration which is varying with time as a n is equals to v t square where b is a positive constant. We have to find the instantaneous power of all forces acting on particle as a function of time t. And we have to also find average power for first t second from a start. So what are the things that is given in this problem? So we have been given normal acceleration that is a n. This is also called as radial acceleration which is given this is equals to b t square. So this is given in this problem. So what is happening here? So we have a mass m. So this object is moving in a circle and the radius of circle is also given. So let's say r is the radius of circle. Mass of this object is m. So these things are known and we have to calculate instantaneous power. That is one objective. Another objective is we have to calculate the average power. Now how will you do this problem? So if you remember power is nothing but f dot v. So you have to see what is the velocity and what is the direction of force. Now if a object moving in a circle you can see this is the direction of velocity and you can have two forces one force that is acting in the tangential direction that is same direction as the velocity another force that will be acting in this direction that is the radial direction so another force will be in the radial direction but radial direction force is perpendicular to the tangential direction so only the force that will work here is that is force along the direction of velocity that is tangential direction and angle will be 0 degree so simply I can say if tangential times velocity which is already tangential so this will be the power now with this hint pause the video and try to solve the problem okay so let us you have tried a little bit or maybe you have got the final answer so let us solve this problem so we have been given that is radial acceleration which is equals to v s square by r and this is given v t s square in this problem so from here i can write v s square is equals to v r t s square or i can write v is equals to t under root v r why I am doing this? Because I want to calculate force in tangential direction. So now we will have dB by dt. So if I differentiate this term, so we will have differentiation of t is 1. So this is simply under root Br. Now this is the acceleration in the tangential direction under root Br. So now I can calculate my force in the tangential direction this term force is equals to mass times acceleration so let us call force in tangential direction is equals to mass times acceleration in tangential direction so mass and acceleration is under root b r so now i can say instantaneous power instantaneous power is nothing but force tangential that is m under root b r force times velocity and velocity is again under root b r this we already calculated so this is instantaneous power you can say this is equals to m b r so this is the first part now the next part is average power how will you calculate average power so average power is nothing but rate of change of kinetic energy so average power is rate of change of kinetic energy rate of change 
of kinetic energy. So rate of change of kinetic energy, this is equals to average power. So what will the kinetic energy in this case? Half mv square. So initially it starts from rest. It is given in the problem. So the final kinetic energy will be half m and v is given. We already calculated v. This is here. This term, if you see this term, that is T under root Br. So this will be T under root Br half m v square. So this will be simply half m T square Br. So this is the rate of change. So this means in T times, this is the change in kinetic energy. So rate will be this divided by time. So I have to divide this simply power will be this divided by time so everywhere i have to divide by time and then this will be simply half m t times b times r so this is the average power Okay, now a question for you. Is there any alternative by which we can calculate average power? So, can we apply some other method? Not the directly kinetic energy one. Can I use some equation of motion or something else that we can use to calculate the average power? So, let us write your solution in the comment box and I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy, Please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.